Yeah, and there you see it. The countdown <laughs> is on tonight for a big announcement from the city of Mobile in just 13 short hours. We're going to find out who will be the New Year's Eve headlining act for the Mobile Moon Pie drop. Yeah, the giant ersatz confection didn't drop last year because of COVID, but it's going to go down this year and it's all systems go for a big celebration downtown. Hmm. Our Lacey Beasley is downtown tonight for this announcement Eve. Lacey, there's going to be plenty of things to do down downtown on the last day of the year. Absolutely, Byron and Lenise, and we're just 45 days away from this celebration. You'll hear good music while also digging into the world's largest moon pie. <laughs> Mobile's signature New Year's Eve celebration, the Moon Pie Drop. According to Judy Gulledge, co-chair of Moon Pie Over Mobile, typically 50,000 people flood the streets. Last year, they were empty, but she hopes all will return to normal this year with no COVID restrictions. I don't think that we have any in place. Our community is relatively safe right now. We are constantly monitoring that. Business booms downtown on New Year's Eve, and the celebration attracts tourists from all across the Gulf Coast. Many people we talk to don't seem concerned about COVID-19 this season. I, mean, I think it'd be a great time. I don't think you should be worried about COVID. I feel like if you're if you're vaccinated, it's, it's fine. I mean, I mean, so I guess it's up to you if you want to wear a mask or not. But if you're vaccinated, it's fine. Coming on the heels of the big headliner announcement, it has people ready to get back out with their community. If you're from Mobile, it's fun. There's a lot of people that show up, so it's good to kind of like show like you're a part of Mobile. And of course, ready for the main attraction. We're going to have the world's largest edible moon pie that we're going to get cut, and everybody can come out and get a piece of that moon pie. It's delicious. The new Moon Pie Over Mo Mobile website launches tomorrow following the headliner announcement. There you can see a full list of festivities and we'll also have a link on our website, fox10tv.com. Reporting live from downtown Mobile, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.